Women have been freezing eggs for a long time now. So in a hospital in Israel, they noticed that women froze eggs two years, three years, five years, 10 years, 15 years ago, and never came back for the eggs. So the hospital decided to send letters to women, just saying, this is a reminder, you have eggs, and what would you like to do with them? Then one day a woman comes in the hospital and says, I want my eggs, I want to have a baby. It's been 10 years. They ask her, why now? It's been 10 years, why did you come now? And she said, well, I got a letter. Mostly my angle is that I look at the way information is presented to people in many, many ways, always in the medical context, and look for ways to improve that so they can really engage with their health and make better decisions. In this time, on one hand, we have many tools. We have a lot of digital health and other tools that can help us and that people can use. But people are still people. And when they are in the medical context, when they are patients, they're much more fragile, they're much more vulnerable, and they're much less likely to engage with their health in a proper way unless they are assisted. So either by nudges or by more deep and psychological and insightful tools like the ones we're developing and body and soul to help them get to where they want to be and also to where the health system wants them to be. So really, it's a win-win. My name is Talia Miron Schatz. I'm a professor of medical decision making at the Ono Academic College in Israel, and I am CEO of Buddy and Soul.